Welcome everyone to another episode of the Pierce Brothers. I'm Joe and today we're going to be talking about some of my go bags that I have set up with some different guns and stuff in them. Um, and I'll show, these are all from Save Your Equipment. Um, we got three different sized bags here and uh, I have these set up and ready to go in case I had to grab guns and go. They're already ready to go with loaded mags, knives, supplies, all that good stuff. So let's dive in here. I've got these two here which are the specialist covert rifle case um, and we'll take a look at what's in them they're both set up very similar so these two bags here are the same model just different colors and different sizes they come in three sizes this one's a 37 this is a 33 and then there's a 29 or 30 incher that's just smaller than this one similar to this size but this one is a different model this is the uh the coffin or tombstone style one this one only has one strap on the back and then a buckle to stabilize, which I'm not a huge fan of a single strap pack. These ones, the Specialist Covert Rifle Case, are like a backpack. So they're more practical in my opinion. Um, they're not gonna blend in well, obviously, because they're still kind of tall. So people are like, oh, what does he have in there? <laughs> so they're not really for concealed carry. I use them more as a go bag. So let's take a look at the black one first. As you can see there's spots for patches, but that's not super important. So up here in the top pouch, there's not a whole lot of room in there for stuff, but I've got a holster, a drop leg holster in there. Um, and I'll show you why. So each of these two rifle cases are set up pretty much the same. I've got 11 loaded mags for ARs between the two. Well, 11 in each, so 22 total loaded mags. And then I've got a handgun in each. We'll just kind of look at them both, I guess, as we go. So you can kind of see um, they're pretty much the, the same. This one, I've got a concealed carry holster with the Kimber KDS-9C. Two extra pistol mags for each one. This one, I've got the HK P30L John Wick edition gun. Um, and then in each one, I have a dagger style knife. This one is the Cold Steel Taipan. That's a pretty cool knife. And then this one is the Cold Steel Drop Forged Wasp. Also a very cool knife. Um, and then we have three AR mags in this outer pouch. So let's go ahead and take a look at the inside now where the real goodies are. Uh, but anyways, I set these up very similar, or pretty much identical, so that um, I would be able to go back and forth between the bags and have the same equipment in each one. So, this one has my Daniel Defense Mark 12 here on this side. This one I had to do slightly different than this one as far as placement of where I put stuff over here. Because of the bipod, it was a little fat. So, unclip this. Flip to the other side, we've got a Cold Steel Trench Hawk, and then the Cold Steel um, Warcraft Big Knife, Tonto Edge, or Tonto Point. And this one I have also a very big knife, we'll show that one here in just a moment. And then a whole bunch more mags, so stacks of two here, and then one each here. So there you have it, 11 loaded mags, a big knife, a little knife, a tomahawk, all tools, so you're ready to go with whatever comes up. Um, anyways, very cool. So then this one, I guess that one I should specify, the Daniel Defense is set up, that's the Mark 12. It's set up as a long range AR. This one here, we've got the Close Quarters Battle Rifle, the Bravo Company, um, Recce 14. This one's more set up for a CQB with just a three power ACOG on there. And then in this side, We've got lots more loaded mags. As you see, I swapped them in this one because the light down here was sticks out really far, so I couldn't have mags and still close it. But anyways, 11 total mags again. We've got the Cold Steel Magnum Tonto in this one. So again, a Tonto style large knife for chopping, fighting, whatever. And then this one is the Cold Steel Battle Hawk or War Hawk, I don't remember what they call it. It's shaped slightly different than the Trench Hawk in the other bag. So those are those two bags. Pretty much the same. 
Just one's more designed for close quarters stuff. The other one's the long range AR. But that way I've got, between the two bags, I've got two rifles, two handguns. Um, my wife and I both have a gun that way. And uh, 22 loaded mags total. So this one I'm not quite finished setting up, but uh, I'm waiting on some mag pouches. But this one has the MP5 with the EOTech. So we'll have a bunch of loaded MP5 mags in here. And I just threw a couple things over here to kind of give you an idea of what'll fit. We've got a half face blades tomahawk. This is their crescent hawk. And then uh, we've got the Tops Kumakage G.I. Joe sword, knife, whatever you want to call it. <laughs> Not really a knife, definitely more of a sword. So um yeah so these are from savior equipment great bags if you want to get a bag that's set up with gear and equipment that's ready to go for any kind of crazy terrorist attack whatever you want to call it zombie apocalypse if you believe in zombies <laughs> you're gonna be ready to go so um in our modern world of crazy times and crazy things i feel like being prepared is important on top of this i have a bunch of ammo cans and trays ready to go in 5.56 five, and 9 millimeters so i'd have plenty of ammo but uh having the loaded mags ready to go is important um because if something's going on you don't want to sit there having to load mags so p, p mags are really safe to leave loaded forever um, i just leave one mag or one round out so there's 29 rounds in each instead of 30. Um, just to give a little bit of release on the springs. But uh, yeah, that's uh, how I've got them set up. Again, these are from Save Your Equipment. I'll put links down in the description to the bags, the gear, all the cool stuff. <laughs> um, you don't have to put as much stuff in there as I did. I just kind of went overboard. So <laughs> better safe than sorry. Um, anyways, thanks for watching this episode of the Pierce Brothers. Uh, stay safe, stay prepared, and be ready. We'll see you next time on the Pierce Brothers.